All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. We want to go in on this lesson on the abominations and the filthiness of America which is known as Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. Okay? Um, the word abomination, um, I'm going to get this scripture, um, Revelation 17 and 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, Full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Okay, now the point, uh, the golden cup, this is a good point. Um, the word abominations and filthiness. Okay, now. According to the scriptures, America is Babylon the Great. Okay, it says Mystery Babylon the Great. Okay, um, I'm going to go on to the next verse. Um, and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shah, or the one of the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Okay, this is a good, uh, the blood of the saints, okay, is um, important too, okay. Now, we're going to go in on the abominations according to the scriptures, okay. Now, the word abomination, okay, which I'm going to get the etymology of that word also. Um, the word abomination is a thing that causes disgust or hatred, atrocity, disgrace, horror, ob obscenity, uh, outrage, evil, crime, which America is full of crime, okay, um, monstrosity, and a, and a thema, okay, which that's in the scriptures, um, bane, Okay, it says a feeling of hatred. Okay, um, the word abomin abomination in uh, the etymology, a feeling of disgust, hatred, loathing, abomination, horror, re repugnance, disgust. Okay, sun is an ill omen. Okay, off away, uh, omen. Okay, um, in biblical use, often that which is cer ceremonially uh, impure, the meaning was intensified by folk etymology der der derivation uh, or deriving from Latin, uh, home mind away from man. Okay, uh, that's pretty much the point. Okay, so. Um, abomination is something that is disgusting or hatred, right? Um, I'm going to go through the scriptures, okay? One point, how America is filled with abominations or, the, you know, um, disgusting things, okay? This, uh, with the food that they eat, okay? This is um, Le Leviticus 11 and 9. These shall you eat. Of all that are in the waters, whatsoever has fins and scales in the water, in the seas and the rivers, them shall you eat. And all that has not fins or don't have fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination to you, unto you. Okay? So... Here in Baltimore, one of the um, 
or the logo or, or one of the main attractions that people come here to Baltimore to get is crabs. You know? And that also shows you how the golden cup in her hand, you know, full of abominations. Crabs are ab abominable. You know, they're supposed to be ab an abomination onto us. But a lot of people here in Baltimore, they love eating crabs. Okay? And they have this thing in the crab called the dead man. You know, that's what they call it here in, in, in Baltimore. And then they also, um, a lot of people like to eat the yellow stuff that's in the crab and call it mustard. But in reality, that's really crab shit that people are eating. And they enjoy eating that. You know, that's a disgusting uh, thing that people are doing. And crabs are supposed to clean the water, man. Okay? But people out here don't care. They they just want um, what tastes good to them or what they think tastes good, you know? Um, it say, they shall be an abomination unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh, but you shall have their carcasses in a, an abomination. Okay, um, and these are they which you shall have an abomination among the fowls or the birds. They shall not be eaten. So you, you even got, you know, certain uh, animals, you know, like as far as like the birds that people eat. Okay, um, it says uh, Leviticus 11 and 20, all fowls that creep goes going upon all four shall be an abomination so pretty much you know the food that people eat out here are an abomination and you can read you know leviticus 11 you know and get you know the the words or, or the uh foods that are, are supposed to be ate and not supposed to be ate okay but that's the same way you know with with, with something that is disgusting right um let's see you're not going to pick up a worm from off the, well, no no person in their right mind is just going to go outside and pick up a, a worm or let's say a piece of shit and just eat it, man. Okay? Uh, even, even like pigs, you know, pigs according to the scriptures, to the, to the, to the Bible is a, is a, is an abomination, man. You know? Uh, or, or I should say that it's unclean. But people people love eating it. You know, it don't it don't um it doesn't say that it's an abomination right here in these scriptures, but the pig is an unclean is an unclean animal. Okay. Um going going back onto some scriptures, okay. Um on how you know America is filled with abominations, okay? This is another one. Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Okay? When, if you was to see two, two um, men kissing or two women kissing, okay? You're supposed to, that's supposed to give you the feeling like you want to throw up, man. Okay? And, and people make, make that... They, America tries to make it seem like that is the thing to do or that you're supposed to accept that, man, okay? Because this that's the way that this society, this wicked society is is built, you know, on wickedness, okay? Um, so, so two men or two women uh, kissing is disgusting, man, okay? Um... This is the, the judgment of what's supposed to happen. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind, and she lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Something that's disgusting. Something that the Lord hates, man. They surely shall be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And America don't, don't do that, man. America is not uh, doing that. They, they promoting it. Okay? Um, Deuteronomy 7 and 25, the graven images of their gods shall you burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver of gold, 
that is on them, nor take it unto you, lest thou be snared therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into your house, lest thou be cursed, be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt surely, sur I mean, shalt utterly de detest it, and sh thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. You know, when you come into this truth, you know that, for example, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, you know, he didn't, he, he, he didn't look like no so-called white man, okay? You don't bring no, no so-called white man image into your house, okay? You're not supposed to bring no, no idol or false idol, okay? That's disrespectful to the most high, man, okay? If you believe in the Bible. Okay, the Lord, the Lord ain't with that. The Lord of the Bible ain't with that. Okay, um, this is. I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna go into the. Uh, hold on, I'm, it's another one that I was looking at. Deuteronomy twenty-two and five. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Okay? And when you look at this scripture, right? Let's say you're you're driving or you're walking down the street. You know, you're a man. And you, you see somebody walking down the street in a, in, a, in a woman's garment. Right? And then as you walk past them or you drive past them, you come to find out that that's a fucking man at the whole, the whole time. That's supposed to be that... That you're supposed to get that feeling of disgust. Like, yo, what the fuck, man? That's an abomination, man. Okay, and America um, promotes this LGBT community, man. The, the, the idea that a man can change his sex from a male to a woman or a woman to a man. Okay, ain't nothing religious about that, man. Like, that's wicked, man. Okay, the Bible is against that shit, man. Okay, that's an abomination. Okay, and that's the same way because the scriptures say a woman shall not wear that which pertain if unto a man. Okay, this the notice this the the scriptures say that this is an abomination unto the Lord thy God. That's disgusting, man. The Lord hates that shit, man. Okay, America is trying to make it seem like men and women are equal. Okay, and now you got women that are walking around cocky as shit, man. You know. Opening up their their legs, uh, like as if they're men or something, you know, wearing pants and, um, you know, even women women that 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 get haircuts like like men, okay, and and me personally, man, I want to be able to pull your hair, man. I don't want to be be able to rub your head. like that's disgusting. Even thinking about that, having a woman and you got rub on her head or and shit, man, you know. That's that's disgusting unto the Lord, man. Okay, women are supposed to be feminine. You look at you look at this society. Women, you know, they're they're cocky. Uh, they 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 think that they can get all up in your face. You know, it's all type of wickedness out here, man. And then these men out here are, are, are feminine. The, the these people got demons on them, man. Okay. Um. I'm going to go into some uh, Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 32. For the froward is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the, the righteous. Um, let me see what Proverbs 6 and 16 say. Um, Proverbs 6 and 16. These things doth the Lord hate. Yeah, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, which that's what America has. A lot of people out here have a proud look. A lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood. And a heart that devises wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift to, I mean, yeah, feet that be swift to running into mischief. A false witness that is, that speak lies. And he that souls discord among the brothers and when you look at these false witnesses man 
You know, they had these news thing, eyewitness news and stuff like that. And people be lying and shit on the fucking meat on the news channels and stuff, man. Okay? It ain't no unity among the, 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 the tribes, man. Okay? The people are, our people are, are gone. Okay? Um... You spoil the you spoil the hate wickedness out here, man, in, in in this world, man. Okay, um, and America doesn't follow anything that's in the scriptures, man. So if, if you're a person that's of of the or think that you're a person of the Lord, you supposed to hate America, man, for the wickedness that is in this society, man. Okay, um, Proverbs twelve and twenty two, lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. But they that deal truly are his delight. Okay? And America ain't dealing truly. Okay? When stuff happens, what's what they what do they do? They try to make up a story to try to um to try to hide that the truth from the public, man. Okay? So America ain't built up right in the first place, man. Um the you ask these people, you know, uh about something and they can't even tell you the truth, man. When it comes down to the truth, people just walk by, you know, and they 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 come at you and stuff like that in, in different ways, you know. But the ones that are really dealing truly, you know, and, and dealing justly are the ones who the Lord really delight in, man. The one that that the ones that that tell the truth, man. You know, that's that's establishing judgment, man. Okay. Um. Proverbs thirteen and nineteen: the desire accomplished. Is sweet to the soul, right? And you have a lot of people out here that desire a lot of uh, crazy things, man. You know, desiring to, to go to college, get a degree and stuff like that. And when they get it, you know, they, they feel as though that they made it. But then they somehow, they still feel empty at the end of the day. It says, but it is abomination to fools to depart from evil. Okay. And 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 as far as niggas go, you know, as far as the the twelve tribes, the the, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the ones that are wicked is when you tell them to do right, they look at it like that's a disgusting thing, man. You know, you tell them that that you're supposed to 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 not eat crabs, they look at that. And I I love fucking crabs. The fuck you talking about? You know, um. Proverbs 15 and 9. Uh, the way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he that loves him that he but he that loveth him that but he loveth him that, that follow after righteousness. And how do you attain that righteousness? Through the scriptures. Okay? Following and living by the, the word of the Lord, man. Okay, everywhere and applying it onto your life. Okay? Um Proverbs 17 and 15, he that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. Okay, so if you out here justifying your your, your wicked cousin or your wicked uh people who's doing wicked, you know that they out here doing wicked, you know, and you justifying them, they, they out here living reckless and stuff like that. And and let's say like like for example, a woman. A woman is doing some straight up dirty stuff to a man, and then the, the minute that 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 man calls that woman a bitch, now all of a sudden you got her peoples that want to come and try to fight that person, man, just for calling her a bitch. But the people who who, who come in to try to fight that person for calling that that woman a bitch, they call women bitches all the time, man. So this place is gone, man. It says, and he that condemneth the just, you know, they they are both an abomination, man. Okay. Um, Proverbs twenty-eight and nine. He that turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayers shall be an abomination. So you have a lot of abominable prayers that are that are being uh, casted up in this society, man. That ain't being heard whatsoever, man. Okay, because people aren't trying to hear the law, man, or what the scriptures say. Okay. Um, Proverbs 29 and 27, an unjust man is, is an abomination to the just, okay? Niggas are abomination to us, man. And he that is upright in the way is an abomination unto the wicked. 
and and we are abominate we, the, the 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 people that are wicked niggas look at us like we 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 disgusting man you have this this thing that's going on right now where people are putting pills uh directly up their anus and stuff like that man you know and that's disgusting man cuz they want to they want the 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 pill to go right into the bloodstream, you know what I'm saying, rather than taking it by the mouth or taking it by, you know, whatever, in, in different ways. They putting it up each other's up anus, man, you know, just to get that quick high, man. So you know that this place is gone, man, okay? It ain't no it ain't no, no uprightness as far as what the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, in this place, you know, it's just, it's just, it's, it's wicked, man. Okay. Um, this is Ezekiel twenty-four and six. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God: Woe to the bloody city, to the pot whose scum is therein. Okay, which America is this? You know, like like you go into somebody's house, and they got shit everywhere. You know, what I'm saying like like them people on them hoarding souls and stuff. You know, the the you got dead cats under the fucking. The fucking, uh, or dead bodies and stuff like that under the fucking stuff that they got, you know, uh, it, it stinks in, in, in this, in, in this fucking society, you know, America is this big pot, man, you know, with, with, with fucking filthiness in it, man, you know, and, and, and they just drinking out of it like it's nothing, man, you know, um, and getting drunk off of it. Um, it says, and whose scum is not gone out of it, bring it out piece by piece, let no lot fall upon it. For her blood is in the midst of her, she set it upon the top of a rock, she poured it not upon the ground to cover it with dust. Right? It say, um, because that's what they do, man. You know, the, uh, America is not, they, 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 they just trying to, trying to, paint what they did that's why i got this scripture okay uh Hab habakkuk 2 and 12 woe to him that builds a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity how did they build america from off the blood sweat and tears of the, the so-called negroes latinos and native americans okay it says behold is it not of the lord of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire and the people shall worry themselves for every vanity for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea, right? And they, they trying to um, cover that up, man. You know, they trying to, the, 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 the earth is being filled with the knowledge of the Lord right now. But but America don't want that knowledge to be be, be out there, okay? Um, it say, woe unto him that gives his neighbor drink that puts thy bottle to him. Okay, they America is putting that golden cup onto the so-called Negroes, Lat Latinos, and Native Americans, right? It says, and make him drunk also that thou mayest look on their nakedness. And our people are, you know, they're, they're, they're gone, you know. They're, they, they're homeless. They don't know what the fuck to do, you know. Um, they, they fucking hide out their minds. They don't know what what it what it takes to be righteous. You know, they only know how to do wicked shit, man. It says, Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned onto you, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. And what what what's on America's glory, man? You know, how did America get everything, man? Okay, when you look at how they got this land, they 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 killed the Native Americans. Okay, they stole this land, and that goes into you know the fact that they 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 not pouring uh they not pouring the um the 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 things that they did onto the ground and and and, and, and covering up, you know. Now they now they trying to sit up there and try to. Make it seem like the, the, the Native Americans was just savages. They was uh, wild and reckless. You know, that's what they been, been was doing. 
in the first place, but now they're making it seem like they was they was justified in what they did. Okay. Um, it says uh, back in Ezekiel twenty four and eight, it says that it might cause fury to come up to take vengeance. I have set her blood upon the top of a rock that it should not be covered. So they can't they can't hide the fact that uh the things that they did, you know, to to uh the 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 Lord's chosen people. Okay, it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, woe to the bloody city. I will make even the I will make even the power for the for the fire fire great. Cause it's a lot of stuff over here that needs to be burnt, man. You know, the factories, you know, these streets, everything, man. Okay? The food, the 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 the, the waters, the, the fucking uh the wildlife, man. It's all defiled, man. Under this this place, man, and more importantly, the the people, the the the, the Lord's chosen people are are defiled, man. They don't know what what it takes to 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 be righteous, man. I'm gonna get this scripture, Isaiah sixty six and three. He that kills an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrifices a lamb is as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offers an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense is as if as if he blessed an idol. Yet they have chosen their own ways and their soul delights in their abominations. Okay, and that's what, what our people do, man. When it comes down to, you know, doing righteousness, man, they killing people, putting tears on their faces and shit, man. Um when it comes down to to uh if they was to try to to sacrifice a lamb nowadays man they they wouldn't even know what the fuck to do man you know they would they would try to cut it off like like or or, or cut like they cutting off a dog's neck man and if you did ask them to 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 give them to give you some some plate or something like that for food they're gonna put some some pork on the on the shit man and they and these people out here burning incense onto idols for real man Okay, these people don't know the way of righteousness. They say, I will, I will also choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil be before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Okay, and the, and the things that, that they doing, man, when you just look at these people, man, when you look at America and the whole, you know, it's just disgusting, man. It makes you want to throw up, man. Okay. So this place, you know, the the all the filthiness that's in this place, man. This filthy society, man. It all has to be burnt up with thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay. Um. It says. Um. I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna finish this with this. It says Ezekiel 24 and 10. Heap on wood. Kindle the fire, consume the flesh, and spice it well, and let the burnt bones be burnt. Then set it empty upon the coals thereof, that the brass of it may be burnt, I mean, may be hot and may, may burn, and that the filthiness of it may, may be molten in it, that the scum of it may be consumed. Okay, so all of these, because the scriptures were talking about, um, you know, the, uh, the idol worshiping. Okay, that's an abomination unto, unto the Lord. Okay, so when the Lord destroys this place, man, all that, the the uh, images, they are going to be burnt, man. Okay, um, Ezekiel twenty four and twelve. It says she have worried herself with lies, and her great scum went not forth out of her. And America ain't trying to clean up the the filthiness that's in it, man. Okay. Uh, and a lot of people are filthy rich, man. Okay, and when you go into that world, filthy rich, man, the, the the shit that they did in order to get them riches, man. It says her scum shall be in the fire. Okay, and that's what what this place needs, man. This all the scum, all the stench that's in this place, all the abominable things that are disgusting. You know, it all needs to be burnt up, man. Okay, and then righteousness will dwell on this earth, man. But but this place, which is known as America, 
you know, uh, which which is Mystery Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. They, uh, America is drinking this this from this cup, you know, with with all this abominable things and filthiness in it. Okay, and the scum is is in it, and they drink they they giving it to our people, man, and making our people drunk also, man. Okay, but with that, you know, hopefully this was was edifying, man. And I want to say uh, Salawam till next time.